entire city. Now we have to find a hotel. All right, so we're now in a hotel in Pattaya, and a long trek to get here. Uh, now, to, I mean, I'm talking just from the airport to this room because we really didn't have it booked in advance. Every time I travel and don't and do that, like you know, fly by wire, off the cuff, or touch and go thing, it never works out because I always spend like an hour, two hours searching for a hotel, and that's what we did this time. Um, but we learned our lesson next time. Well, actually, next time it's in Bangkok, we're not going to have a hotel there either, so. But, so we'll learn our lesson after that time. So as you can see, this is a little more Spartan than we had before. Um, but it still works. So we just got a bed. It's got a bathroom. What more do you need? Hmm? Wi-Fi would be cooler. But yeah. can live without internet for a day. All right. So I've now entered in my fourth set of currency. Let's see. Well, U.S. dollar, um, Taiwanese dollar, uh, Vietnamese dollar, and, oh no, Hong Kong counts. So Hong Kong, and then this, so fifth, really, if you count US dollar. So these ones, I'm not quite a millionaire in these terms. I knew it's gonna hurt to accept, but um, I do have thousands. We got a 50 there, a 500 there, and that's about as high as I get. Oh, 5,000, that must be um, going back to Vietnamese money. But anyway, so I do have a lot of this kind of money, but, um, Turns out things cost a lot in this kind of money, but things don't cost a lot overall, so you still get a lot for your money. But I already get a massage for the money, so a, a safe massage, none of this crazy stuff. I'm not, I'm not doing crazy stuff, you know? I just can't do that. Don't know where those hands have been. Um, but it's kind of fun. So it's like Monopoly money. It really is like playing Monopoly. Look at that. So you got, you got world leaders there, or country leaders, I guess. So we're going to look at some of the choices I've uh, made here in um, Bangkok. Kind of neat, I think. Remember my rule, I, um, when I'm outside the US, I'm okay buying candy or whatever. I'll buy anything. Um, and in fact, I'm even eating norm normal. I hate to consider it normally because, well, let's not get into that. Uh, anyway, I am eating and uh, what do we have? We have Oreos. This was actually bought in Vietnam. It's got, no. It looks like, actually that has um, Taiwanese writing. Although we actually did buy them in Vietnam, so that's kind of strange. This is Mentos. And uh, I don't even know what... Yeah, that's bad, we don't even know what side's up for uh, writing for a language. That's fine. Alright, and we have more Mentos. It actually says Mentos down here, and up above it says... Uh, again, I don't know what's... I don't know the right side. These I bought because um, they're plums or something. Dried... No. I, I don't know. Look at, I'll tell you later. They look good. These are little sticky bun type things um, in, again, Vietnamese. So many different languages on this trip. I've come across Chinese, Vietnamese, and, and Thai, and they're all totally different. I mean, it doesn't help you at all learning one. S um, auto, auto blow, they sound, gosh, I can't even think of words. Vietnamese and Thai have some similarities in the way they sound. At least I got that. But um, otherwise, all right, let's look at this. Look at that. Um, this I think we bought in Vietnam. Tons of writing on the back. No, I'm going to read that. And these are some crackers, chips. You can see kids playing, so you know they must be healthy, nutritious, and tasty. And yeah, so i actually going to save these for like snacks on the plane and things like that. Our last plane flight. You gotta pay for what you eat. I didn't eat at all. Cause it's like I, I kind of expected that, but people were like paying like four bucks, five bucks for a little cheap sandwich. I thought you can't wait two hours, two hours. You can't go up and down the plane flight. I mean, we did the same thing in a bus. No one had to get fed in a bus. Oh, uh, all right. Let's not get into that. One of these days we shall. But all right. And I got my um. You probably can tell at this point. My vodka Hanoi. This is actually not bad. This is uh, rice fermentation alcohol, about 30%, 29,5. They use the uh, comma for the period and the period for the comma. If you're ever traveling overseas, you might want to consider knowing that. So, all right, we're going to go out and get a massage, uh, a safe massage. Commercial pretty much photograph shows uh, this area. Now, I'm not pointing towards the, the working women. I'm pointing towards the, the, the light. We're out here in Bataya Beach. Literally the beach, the ocean is crashing over the sand. 
I feel like kind of cool, and you know what the best part is? It's warm. I'm not freezing anymore. I'm having a beer. So, you know, with all I've drank, drunk, I might not be freezing anyway. Up, up, the water's getting kind of cool. I gotta go. It's getting, it's getting bit, kind of crazy. We're at a restaurant here. It looks like uh, some traditional food, I guess. Very spicy. I got my pickups from it. Um, I'm just finished our massage. One hour. Time was shot. That yeah, was like, it's hard. I, I can't describe it now. I'll describe it later, but awesome, man. You just want to fall asleep. It's good, but it's not too painful. That's what makes it good. Uh, so relaxing. So. No happy ending. Yeah. Massages, but I was exhausted with the second one. I was actually falling asleep. And these are massages where they're clean. No worries. Um, this is our room. Didn't really use it much. I wanted to get the phone because right now that's pretty cool. And I'm a little, I don't know if I've gotten the room yet, but a little more Spartan than the other room. Uh, we had a good time. Fun place. Good location, too. I have to come back here. So that's it. Now on to Bangkok. Terry's ordering some uh, coffees. Okay. Look good, huh? Yeah. And I just ordered a uh, fruit that's a uh, drink. It's a cross between um, a lime and an orange, mandarin orange, and it actually tastes exactly like that. It's very good. I recommend it. Recording. So now we're trying a uh, foot massage. It's not really a massage, it's uh, the uh, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna put my feet in and they're gonna eat my feet. <laughs> that feels really weird. Ah. <laughs> 15 minutes, huh? <laughs> Leslie did this? Yeah. The kids did it? Elaine did it, but Elaine wouldn't do it. Oh my gosh. It's the weirdest feeling ever. Justin. They just nibbling? They're like, yeah, yeah, they barely touch. It's Did like you feel them nibbling. Yeah, yeah, but barely. I mean, they they, they touch and then they like they like leave. It's so it feels so weird. It's supposed but to eat of dead skin. So it's yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm doing a uh, a foot. Um, I guess it's a fish. They eat the dead skin or something like that. The weirdest feeling early ever, but it feels kind of cool. You gotta try this. You gotta try this. All right, here we go. The little fish are like wiggling all over. They've seen me go over the same place a lot. You kind of had to ignore it. But I'll tell you what, having a beer or two or three helps a lot. <laughs> so, there you go. Drink a beer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink beer. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's funny. They're like my friends now. They eat my legs. All right. Good. See you, all your. Uh...